simply this is the most delicious cake i ever baked the most delicious cake i've ever tasted and guess what i'm not telling fibs let's do this I'm sitting at home in isolation, so I decided to bake my special carrot cake and I'm sharing it with you. If you come to Hubi Tastes for the first time, please subscribe, activate the bell so you don't miss any of the recipes I do in this channel. We start with carrots. You need to get yourself fresh carrots from the supermarket. The more carrots you have, the fluffier, the more moist your cake will be. Usually, it's two cups to three cups. I went as many as three cups for this recipe. Get yourself a grater. We don't want to have big pieces because that will not give you a nice texture on the cake and don't go for the small one. Pick something in the middle and you will get a fantastic result when you bite into that moist, delicious cake. Now that we grated our carrots, we move into the next ingredient that we have to prepare and it's pecans who doesn't love pecans i love pecans we get in the pecans chop them don't make it too fine also don't make it too big you could get away with half in them but probably you need to quarter each of the pecans so it goes and blends well with the rest of your cake for this recipe we are using a self-rising flour that is used particularly for cakes we have to sift the flour so it's nice and fluffy and we are using two cups we add one teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda two tablespoon of cinnamon and the secret ingredient to the recipe one teaspoon of finely grind cardamom also you could use a little bit of orange zest the orange I have is quite old, so it wasn't an easy job to use some of the zest, but if you get something fresh, you'll get a better result. In all honesty, I couldn't get an orange in the market. We mix all the dry ingredients together, make sure everything is uniformly distributed, and we have to add most of the carrots, if not all of it, if we can, uh, at this stage and mix it lightly with the flour. When you do it this way, the carrots will be distributed evenly inside your cake and doesn't go and stick to the bottom. That's a nice trick, you need to do it when you do carrot cake. Now we are ready to start with the wet ingredients and we go for the eggs. Please don't be lazy like me and try to do it the easy way. As you can see, I messed it up with the first egg. When you go lazy, you'll be in trouble. Crack your eggs separately each egg separately and add it to the mixture and don't worry there are no shells left in the mixture I like to use Moscovado sugar we add in two cups I like the texture and the taste that it gives to the cake however this kind of sugar is usually lumpy so when we mix in this make sure there are no lumps left we add 50 grams of yogurt yogurt of your choice if you get a 10% Greek yogurt that probably would be the best choice for this recipe. And also we add one and a half cup of veg oil. Well guys, it's a cake. I can't do any healthier than this. Also, we add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now that we added everything, we are ready to mix the mixture. Make sure you mix it very well and work your hands, work your biceps, we stay in at home, we need to do some gym activity and this is perfect for the guns. Now we are ready to add the dry ingredients. We add the first half, mix it in very well. Once everything is mixed properly, then we can add the rest of the ingredients and also we add the pecans. Make sure you mix it very, very well and you see this kind of mixture. What I've done now, I cut out a baking sheet to be on the same size of this tray. So what you do, you add a little bit of butter or a little bit of oil to make sure that the sheet is stuck into the tray. And also, we oil the sides and cover them with 
the same flour we used for the cake this is very important so you make sure that your cake comes out in one piece uniform and you don't have issues with the cake stuck into the tray we all done that before it's not fun it's not nice you smell the cake you get excited and then it's stuck in the tray we don't want that now we pour the mixture in you can see it smells amazing already before we put it into the oven we tab it a few times so we get rid of any air bubbles that are trapped inside you could use a toothpick put it in if it comes out with a liquid still that means the cake is not ready for me in my oven it took 45 minutes and it was perfect now you would want to get your cake out of the oven keep it to cool i would say 45 minutes you could cheat a little bit and after 10 minutes put it in the fridge so you could actually add the icing into it and it doesn't melt now that we have the cake is ready and it's almost cooled down we can get started with making the icing the cream now we move to the fun part while we wait for the cake to be completely cooled down and we're doing the cream people do the cream differently so we're doing uh, a cream cheese i'm using half of the butter stick 200 gram of full fat cream cheese two cups of icing sugar one teaspoon of vanilla it tastes beautiful delicious however you might feel it's runny that's fine if you like it to be more set you could whip it less and add more ice and sugar the reason i like it like this i don't like to add heaps and heaps and heaps of ice and sugar when i put it on the cake and put the cake back in the fridge before i actually cut it which i didn't do in this video i kept it like to cool for five minutes because i needed to shoot the video and start to edit it etc etc boring youtube stuff the next day it was fantastic set perfect and it doesn't taste too sweet it tastes creamy delicious now this cake guys in all honesty all you need is an english tea to go with it my friends my family everyone loved it it's so good i really urge you to try this recipe and try this carrot cake it is fantastic if you try it write it in the comments and let me know if you have your own recipe and you like to add your own ingredients into the carrot cake thank you for the support thank you for the comments and likes love you all i'll see you in the next recipe check in out